it's space time. Time for space, it's space time with Ever Space 2. So this was uh, provided early access, courtesy of Good Old Games, whom I am partnered with. It doesn't mean they pay me. It means they give me free video games, and in return I say, Good Old Games, pretty good store. Good Old Games, pretty good store. There we go. Um, and you know, typical, typical sellout disclosure. I was using Good Old Games way before they partnered with them, so that's not... I was shilling for, for GOG and, and GOG Galaxy before they uh, they gave me anything for free. All right, Everspace. Uh, oh, hey. Also, Pop-Tart. Sorry, I didn't say, I haven't said hi to you yet. I did see you in chat, but didn't get around saying hi. Kaylee, it's good to see you as well. Love us outlaw, good to see you. Got, got a good gang in chat for a Friday stream. Is this a good new game? I don't know yet. Well, let's find out. So my understanding, Everspace 1, to my great shame, is not a game I ever played. I had it installed for like the last four years. My understanding is that it's a like, it was like a space action roguelike, uh, kind of similar to FTL, except instead of like crewing the ship, you're actually flying it and shooting and stuff, which sounds awesome. I've been led to understand the phrase that was used is that Everspace 2 is more of an RPG. And that's all I know. So I'm get I'm really excited. This sounds like my kind of thing, more like Rogue Light. Okay. Um, huge anus. Thank you for the prime. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to say your name out loud. I'll always appreciate that. More space, more ever, more two. Status unchanged. A little quiet. Huh? Oh, you guys have been playing Breath of the Wild? Area. That's fantastic. How... Formation. How are you enjoying it? You take Ooh. up the rear. I shall. Understood. Uh oh, that's weird. Um, it's just not inverted. Oh, somebody was asking about Immortals a while ago. Are you still here? <laughs> because I will answer your questions now. Okay. Did you ever get your winter coat from that Destiny raid? I didn't buy it. Um, did that happen? Is it too late? Oh. I kind of wasn't paying attention. That may have may have just passed me by. Scrap! What's wrong? Boost search jammed. Could use a push. Hey, Ben. We've got a clunker back here. Got it. Let's meet near a ship. What's going on with it? Just a laggy jump drive. There you go. Good as my granny's creaky old knee. Thanks, Ben. I'm nearly out of nanobots. Say, how's your ship holding up? Just the usual wear and tear. Don't tell me you want to run another mobility check. Can't risk you breaking down in the middle of a fight, can I? All right, knock yourself out. First, show me two nice healthy strafes, left and right. There. Oh, that's strafe? Huh. And there. What about your hover thrust? Man, I can so hear your smile. Isn't oh, okay. it nice to have someone who cares for a change? Interesting. All right, all right. Now, some rolls. Right stick. And right stick. What? Oh, you got to click? Okay. You got to... Okay, you have to click and roll. All right. That's interesting. Finally, I need one last strafe with a boost to the right. Oh boy, okay. There's, okay, so, um, already I'm getting like, there was a, I guess it was, it was purely Wing Commander, now that I think about it. There were a couple of other games that swam in the wake, but like, you know how Metal Gear, so, so this is something that I've always thought was really, really cool. Metal Gear was able to do what it did because it had a story gimmick that made it so that you could deliver a lot of exposition with very minimal, like, game assets. Um, it was like a it was a gif of two characters and then really 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 good VO and that was it So you you could make a whole game and tell this overwrought drama without motion capture or or like camera directing You know, it's kind of more classic JRPG style. I Think you get a lot of mileage out of like uh, flight sim games You can have characters that have whole narratives and it makes total sense because the framing device of the game is that you're just hearing them over comms and uh 
I don't know. I, I'm liking where this is going already. Uh, you know, a little chatter. There's some character being implied. Characters have portraits, which implies that there's going to be, like, story and dialogue. Uh, yeah. <laughs> also Star Fox, yeah. Fox. Fox. Oh, Ace Combat. Yeah, that's 100% what Ace Combat is. Damn, man, why am I not playing Ace Combat? Holy shit! Right now, so, Wing Commander 3, one of, the, one of my favorite games of all time. It's like the first game that I think made me ever feel dramatic tension. Um, uh, so, I don't, I don't know why I never clicked in my head that Ace Combat is just anime Wing Commander. And even Wing Commander was pretty anime. So, shit, man. I gotta play... When did Ace Combat start having a, a, a narrative? Uh, because maybe maybe there should be an Ace Combat. Th yeah, add it to the list, basically. Yeah. Uh, I shouldn't I shouldn't be thinking with these things. I should be thinking this way. The slinky rocket dodges go. I give you a four out of nine. Yeah, you're in good enough shape for the junk pile you're floating. Try telling that to Callahan. Yeah, I've heard Ace Combat Seven goes goes places. Which is something, considering that there are other Ace Combats that have you like fighting a Death Star by the end. Let's not keep him waiting then. It's gonna take me a beat to get used to these uh Just to get used to these uh controls, so have you finally picked a homeworld? Yep, Eden 12 it is. Ridiculous name, but just can't say no to those terraformed lakes. I can't imagine what it'd be like to finally be out. It'll be plat Actually, sorry, I'm just checking to see the audio just in general is crazy low. That would be why. Okay. It's actually better for me to turn everything up in software. Because if I juice if I juice the line too much, you start to get a buzz. We've all been there. Brush up a three-axis joystick. I have a I have a stick uh, that Microsoft sent me for Microsoft Flight Sim, and in the back of my head, I was like, should I bust this shit out for Everspace? I don't know if it's going to support that. It is early access, and supporting eight thousand peripherals is a PC developer's worst nightmare. So. Cosmogen and sunsets, my friend. I'm not holding my breath. After the slog we've been through, that's the least we deserve. Well, if it isn't our two slackers. Cram it, Callahan. I would have removed this ship from your tally. What's the situation? There's a Hydra infestation clogging up the entrance. And since you're the one who gets paid for handling these things, I thought I'd be so kind as to let you earn your creds. I'm on it. Trying to get a, I might, I might, you might see some. Uh, oh, okay. I'm trying to get a feel for the, the controls. It's a cute way to do a targeting so tutorial. Cute. Nice. Wingman, you go in first and secure a path to the core. The engineer will follow with some distance in case anything needs fixing. I'm also kind of getting descent this? vibes now. Enough to make a U-turn should he run into trouble. The rest will wait. Actually, I take it back. I thought I thought it's what I wanted, but I don't think it is. Get outside with me uh. until I give the signal. All right, I'm going in. Oh, what's up, Hopjopper? What's more likely is for the next hour, I'm going to do both. Every time I reach for the stick, it's going to be in a different direction for a different reason. <sighs> Looks like the last shift never left. I'm digging this music. Okay, that went places. This is pretty good, like like spooky, spooky abandoned space vibe. Double check that people remember how to like rotate and stuff. A 
lots of dead outlaws and miners in here. Yeah, and since the Hydra had time to spread but hasn't devoured them yet. Hit him with a four loco bomb. They killed each other less than 48 hours ago. It takes out miners Scrap. like crazy. Might want to consider that U-turn. Some of the outlaws may still be alive. Forget Callahan. I can take care of myself. We got loot chests. Music has like a real, uh, like almost like Sega, Sega Genesis me slash Mega Drive feel about it. That, that like really basic synth. That was kind of the last time that ships flying around in space and shooting stuff was mainstream as a, as a video game thing. Is used Stellaris vibes. I never played Stellaris. Try using your missiles. There's so many awesome space games that have come out on PC. And it's a shame that I've mi I've like basically missed out on all of them. We'll see. I haven't even gotten really into Elite Dangerous, man. That that's a game that that should consume my life. It ought to be everything I do. Oh, Solaris is your favorite 4X? Really? Is that good? I was I was crazy into uh what is what is the ancient one? Star control? We here until I've had a look inside. Please be careful. Amusingly, that's kind of what No Man's Sky is. It's kind of a an algorithmic star control. I guess in that way, it kind of kind of worked out. Stellaris is Civ, but a galaxy instead of tiles. It's cool, but a lot of it is into the or getting into the flavor text. Oh yeah, the theater of the mind stuff, where the flavor text is like space is happening, and you're like, yeah, it is sick. Uh, okay, that seems important, but no worries. being space FedEx and Elite Dangerous. I could do that. I did that a lot in um I guess I guess what you could almost consider the the progenitor of Elite Dangerous um Earth and Beyond. Like from Westwood's glory days when they well, from their days in general, but finally my rescue squad. Uh, I have no idea who you well, That was essentially a hey, Oh. Scum. A uh take care of you. a space MMO. In the early days of MMOs, no less. So they were going for it. That worked out pretty well. Oh, that's the wrong way. Sorry, pal, but there are no rescue squads out here. Nothing personnel. Huh, a coil gun. Everyone, the risk meter just went way up. They were outlaws here. Maybe more on their way. So what? We've still got an armed patrol outside. They could be here any minute. All the more reason to work fast. Let's do this, people. Those crystals won't mind themselves. And that outlaw was from Bloodstar. Not just some low-level grunt. He even had a custom-built coil gun. I'll keep an eye on the main shaft. And I'm gonna hold on to the coil gun. Let's hope we won't need it. This reminds you of Subnautica? Oh, man. Another another beautiful game that I for some reason have yet to play. Keep an eye on the miners. I don't want any crystals to end up in the wrong pockets. Cool. Man. There's something about a doo 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 in the little like wafer ship that is so descent be the feeling. Star guys rescue squad. And if they spotted our patrol outside, they won't just come in with medics. Son of a lizard. All right, I want everyone to stay calm and clear of the walls. Theo sounds MGS3 level corny. It, it's fun. It's working for me. I'm in it. I'm into it. Time to earn my creds. Yeah. 
these creds are what the thing is in space. They got here first. Don't worry. More ransom booty to lie. This like this like has the uh it has the pace and the windup of like a, a PS2 game. And that's that's not an insult. Only one left. It's like just gets you in it right away, a pretty like We're okay. In universe tutorial that still is just like hit this button to do this button. My sensors are lighting up. There's more of them coming down the main shaft. Let's take the fast lane and bust through that drill. This thing's more jazz. Maybe, maybe. Perhaps we have yet to hear the uh, the full musical uh, influences. You go first. That patrol better be doing their job out there. Another smaller tube. Oh, that's kind of neat, though. Ships like fly behind a giant drill. Oh! They got me with the lead title car, those motherfuckers! I didn't think they'd do it! I didn't see it coming! You all try to slip past. I'll keep them busy. Oh. Ooh, what the fuck? Ooh, these drums though. Mm. Overheating. I can't jump. You'll fix it. See you back at base. Hey, you can't just leave me here. <laughs> Sorry, Ben. How long till you can jump again? Engine's too hot. First, it needs to cool down. I'll buy you some time. Okay, so you're the only you're the only decent dude in a gang full of uh, like shitty ass contractors. Wing coming in. How's your ship? Cool down yet? No, it's still heating up. Oh, scrap! Scrap, 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 scrap! I was like, how? Oh. They're really dedicated to the scrap thing, huh? Moving all the way up to the cockpit. Use the extinguisher, reduce oxygen. You got this. I got this. I got this. Oh, they're gonna be, they're gonna be space bros. I'd love to hear a story of Space Bros. Oh! That was me pushing it along. No! Ben? I'm burning for soul's sake! Hold on tight. I'm on my way. Ben, I'm coming. Come for you, Ben. I'll die for you, Ben. Oh shit! Gerg! Turned the wrong way. <laughs> it's very dramatic for a second. Ah! I'll be Ben Grindoli. Uh oh. Okay. What the hell was that? All systems are down. It's like some kind of Everspace 2. Uh oh. The plot's thickening, you guys. Move inside. Uh. Damn it. You're wasting your energy. We're locked in by a force field. Just sit tight and make the best of it. Looks like they threw you quite a welcome party. I've been here for quite a while already. Okay, do you think Just there's gonna be a like pre-mission like interactable area? Where do they where you can like walk around and talk to people? Like GMB work crew. You guessed it. These jerks here got no style. Bunch of amateurs. They'll be looking Spy to get the factory. best prize for you. Thank you very so much. Given your professional opinion. You know a lot about outlaws. Hell, I know a lot more than they'll ever get from me. Yeah. You hear me? If it ain't gas mask, 
So where's your boss? Things have changed, Basha. And because your cellmate here killed the chief, I am now in command. Did he now? And for your insults, I will Star make Vader, you suffer like never before. It seems kind of a Star Warsy hologram. He's in the, the, uh, the scan lines. For now. Maybe you'll live long enough to fetch ransom. Your DNA scans show that you're a military clone pilot. No wonder you bettered my predecessor. I wonder what your face value is. What if I broadcast your profile? That would be a bad idea. You may not like who will come looking for me. Why would I heed advice from a clone? I know my business. Interesting. Station is under attack. And the turrets. Friends of yours? Yeah, the kind who want me dead. Power outage. The force field is down. This is our chance. Let's try to pry the door open. Help me. Grab the door. Pull. Let's get the hell out of here while they're distracted. This way to the hangar. Wait. I'm not leaving without my friend. Don't be an idiot. He's a dead man. Okay, get your friend. But hurry! Hey, Ben. Huh? What's happening? It's our chance to get out of here. Come on. Forget it, man. I'm done for. I told you I'm getting you out of here. Over here. Thanks for waiting. My pleasure. I might have more luck with a clone pilot at my side. Interesting. Okay. Um... I did like there was a the pretty insightful comment. Um, one second. Which, just like off the cuff, that animation was really cool. Uh, it, it managed to like, I don't know, it had enough motion, you know? Didn't really feel like, uh, like a motion comic. It was a little bit more than that. Uh, Picard Salute says, this is a great post title card sequence. Title card into prime example of core gameplay loop large dogfight followed by character drama really nice having a clean thing a clean thesis statement like that yeah i agree um ooh. it's uh it takes so much nuance to execute the beginning of a game right uh i say right i guess to mm, what's the word to put out the welcome mat properly um, there are there are a fair number of PC games where just like here's your tutorial, here's all your windows, here's your buttons, and play the damn game. Um, so yeah, I appreciate a little, I appreciate a little, a little swerve on it, a little, a little soft shoe, a little tippity tap. Watch out. Okay. <laughs> you may call this a warning shot. Attackers are advised to disengage. This is also like a pretty good way of getting right into uh, high stakes. Better stick together if we want to make it out of this alive. Is Keanu still there? No, he had to go. He had to go train. No dice. Uh, he's training for for John Wick. Normally we train together. Uh, but he he said, no, Lawrence. I uh, I want you to recover. He's he he thinks I'm working too hard. And uh, he handle a cannon. He thinks I'm like my first dance, you know. Right. The military clone thing. Shooting scrap is in your genes. This is kind of cool. Like, already, you're kind of twisting up the, the format a little bit. Now there's a fight going on, but you're trying not to join it. Did you work too hard? I know. And I know Keanu's looking out for me. He does that. Um, you know, he's just... He's, that, he's a good friend like that. Um, what am I supposed to do here? I feel like I'm doing this wrong. Oh, it's on top. Oh, don't shoot at that. Oi. Suppressor. Fly close and hack in. Oh. That's the way to go. I'm gonna get detected I though. I did I didn't know that, so thank you. Ooh. It's down. Jumping is still suppressed. My sensors detect two more. Let's find them and get out. Just stay out of view of that cruiser. Ben, you okay back there? Is there a way to like my skin is melting off? Is there a way to decouple the uh, the camera or free look? Let's see. Let me see. This this is just mostly for uh to put a little stream sauce on it. 
And I'm asking for a lot here. I know this is early access, but I'm just curious. Got a little, got a little free look action going. Oh wow! Oh wow! That is sh wow! That is shockingly uh, detailed. Holy crap! Use alt, lock target, lock this target. Switch camera mode, D-pad down. That might, might be it. Toggle free look. Oop. Now that I think about it, I don't know what I would use on the... D-pad's probably used for everything. You hear it? Do you hear these tasty licks, though? Like I imagine somebody with a headband and like a iced coffee sitting next to them just... Just fucking bashing it out, man. Just feeling the groove, feeling the space groove. I, uh, this is getting closer uh, to, there's a genre called future funk, and it's, it might be the most heavenly music ever created by man. Um, and this is kind of getting close to it, a little bit. It's got that funky beat, it's got that, like, corn guitar sound. It's just like, it's more like s future jazz, maybe. What about galactic funk? Can't say that I'm familiar with that one, unfortunately. Uh, oops, nope. Oh! Do we, do we dare? Do we dare for the immersion? Yeah, we dare, I think. Oh shit! Signal detection was going up that whole time. jurisdiction here. This is our last warning. Scans are being initiated on all units. This is too immersive. Harboring a clone is a violation against the peace treaty. Hand him over. We will find him either way. It's yeah, if, after. if this actually Probably does hit anybody's uh, Let's um, this and get the hell motion out. sickness, let me know and I can go back to a third person camera. It, it makes it. I feel like I want inversion now that I'm in the cockpit. Mm, I don't know. No, I should train myself out of it. I should train myself out of it. I think this makes more sense. It matches. The, it matches the like muscle memory from other shooters. We've identified you, Mr. Roslin. I'd suggest you submit your Sentinel without struggle. Hold on tight, pal. We're about to enter super light. Oh, man. Ooh. Ah, you okay, Ben? Damn, you passed out. They're tracking us. This is the sound of groovy space. Now. now. Can't fly blind. Do it. Okay, display's wiped. Now what? I'll give you some cords. One sec. There. Oh. See that sweet shiny marker? That's our way out. I've seen clones fight before, but damn! Not your first dance. You're a goddamn prima ballerina. What's your name, pal? It's Adam. And that's Ben in the back. He really needs a medic. The only medics out here work for GMB. And that's not where you want to be right now. Not with a fleet warrant on your head. Man, we were one foot out of the DMZ. Don't tell me. You had one of those GMB pension plans. It's called the Lionel Grady Retirement Scheme. <laughs> well, it's still a plan, and plans are for fools, my friend. I'm Dax, by the way. Let's get your friend into stasis at my old hideout. That'll give you some time to figure out how to save his life. I guess it's the only choice I have. I don't want to hit the planet! Slow down! Stop! Oh, it was past. It was past that. Oh. What? Shit. I turned off autopilot. Fuck. Okay, hold on. Okay. It's been a while. 
Let's hope that the old rust pile hasn't fallen. Is that kind of like the world map? Hey, buddy, we're here. Oh, man, you look bad. Ben's not responding. We need to do something now. I've heard that voice before. There's a med bay. That's a great we need voice. need to get to the control room first. I can't play this in VR. That's a good question. So this is your hideout. This place looks huge. An old military post. Founded decommissioned after the war. I laid low here for a few years after the DMZ was established. Here we are. Last article I yeah, see, March 2020, says the devs still haven't decided. Um, and this is early access. The main reactor. But uh, it'll only hold us on basic for a while. How about the med bay? The cryopod can run on backup power, but no chance of getting the medical facilities running. All we can do for now is put your friend in deep freeze until we can get the reactor back up. I want to get him in there as soon as possible. All right. Was it Tequila Friday, Olive? Let's take it slowly. Right on. In order to fix the main <sighs> I'm thinking about having a, parts. a drink or two. I can help you with that. I got calories for it. Good. I'll give you a shopping list then. <laughs> you know, this place ain't so bad. We just used it to lay low for a while, really. But I guess you could say we had some good times here. So you weren't alone. Here's the cryo. Fragged me. Someone yeah, who gave a shit really tried right. with these motion comics and it shows. Sweet dreams, I'm really glad to hear you say that. Because it, it does. It does. Um, well, that's done. Now let's get the reactor running. It feels like sometimes feel motion like comic is the stopgap when you don't have the place. budget. What were you hiding to from? Do a full, like, what to your colleagues? performance capture. Yeah, I knew you'd start asking questions if I brought you here. But this is. This Look, feels I really at home in its you. style. Why don't you take a gamble on me now? Trust a little. Huh. I'll stay on comms and fill you in on what you need to know. Yeah, it really seems like there's effort. Like, I think the score helps a lot. The score behind lot those cinematics really make it make it but feel like it's moving and it's active. Our ships um, but ammo, the mixing stop. of the VO is incredible. Also some space in the storage unit, so feel free to dump your cargo whenever it's getting cramped in that Sentinel. All of this the VO just sounds really good in my ears. Scrap so metal. like. Cooling unit? All pretty straightforward. The cooling unit could be a problem. Check out that nearby debris field. That's your best shot at finding one. By the way, I took the liberty of installing two oh. devices into your ship. Now we're doing it. An EMP generator and an energized boost. Not sure how I feel about you mucking around inside my ship. Yeah, well, let me know how you feel once one of my goodies saves your life. <laughs> <laughs> You've acquired your first device. Warfare devices are vital tools for handling tougher enemies or large groups, whereas support devices will help a pilot survive longer. Some devices will need a target that is in range to function. Others can be activated in any situation. Each device has different device modes that can be unlocked individually by spending an upgrade token received at level ups. With device modes, you can tune the device to your liking. Maybe even find and exploit synergies between them. Equip it in the ship menu, experiment with different devices and modes to find the right mix to match your playstyle. My playstyle is winning, dog. I have zero coins. Alright, that, that's fair. That's fair. I've just started out. I'm a little baby ship. Little baby ship boy. So I gotta go shoot some rocks, huh? Back to this. This is the punching trees equivalent of, uh, of this game, I guess. I do like this ship, though. It's a kind of kind of toy-like. Oh yeah, going back to I guess some of the some of the comments about uh, the cutscenes. It's like it kind of is just it's everything done well instead of it being there instead of something else. You know, that's that's what makes those so enjoyable for me. It's like the music's good. It's paced well. The, the acting is great. It's mixed well. It sounds good. It pairs well with the music. The animation moves enough. It's high quality. That's one ridiculous name. There's a lot of motion. Lakes there. Cool. I dig lakes. 
When I was a kid, my old man used to take me kayaking almost every day. That was on Byron 4, just before the whole place went to hell. What's kayaking? You serious? Scrap, we've got a... Nope. Two basic types of damage, kinetic and energy damage. While shields are solely affected by energy damage, armor can only be brought down with kinetic damage. Okay, so you need both. Interesting. Um... Oh, thank you, Spy. Yeah. Remind you of Star Wars comics? Hmm. Like the art style, or just the just the general vibe of them? I mean, there were there were some Star Wars influences with that, like uh, that, that bandit outlaw leader guy for sure. Both damage types will decimate the hull. Got you. Okay, so it's shield, hull, and then actual f like fuselage. Or sorry, shield, armor, hull. Got it. Okay. Use the weapon deals both types of damage, but depending on which higher values, might need to just run. Okay, got it. Leave it to me. I like it. Maybe a good time to pop that gift bag and try one of your new devices. devices. In the meantime, I'll lock the front door just in case. Devices. Ooh, do we got a dub beat? Oh shit! Fucking reggae is the sound of space. Boop, 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 boop. Must have detected us when we reactivated the hangar. So about kayaking. Kayaking. Best thing ever. Say, they never told us soldier grunts how you clones worked. But I heard they gave you guys fake memory fragments to keep you motivated while fighting. If kayaking isn't in there, someone clearly didn't do their job. My memories are fragmented, but not fake. They're a mix of random experiences taken from my clone father's life and every incarnation that came before me. All passed on from clone to clone, until they ended up with me. Holy! So you're some kind of body-hopping immortal soul. Well, not anymore. The cycle was broken. So this time, when I die, I'm done. <laughs> you know what I would do if I were you? No, what? Not croak before I've been kayaking. <laughs> I really mean it. If I ever get the chance, I will. Aww. I need space bros. Make sure that the area is cleared before you head back. Don't want anyone to kiss and tell about this base. Is that a... Heard a marimba? Or steel drums? Please tell me... Yes. Please, please, please tell me this... This game's like vocal language of the like... The fringes of space is reggae and, and like... Calypso music. Please? Could you do that for me? I'd like that very much. Hey, Knockroach was right. We've got new neighbors. Let's give them the tour. There's quite a lot of traffic around here. Yeah, something must have happened to our cloaking system. Any luck with those resources yet? I'm still on it. Excellent. The combat music sounds great. I, uh, I want to hear more of it. Oh, the track changed. Do, 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 do. That's the sound of space for me now. Ever since, like, the, the one track on the Fifth Element soundtrack of the, like, crew gassing up the spaceship to, uh, ridiculous future reggae. Man, that's it. That's what it's about. The dude who hits the boof and then, like... <laughs> Torches a, a weird alien meatball off the ship. That movie rules. Yeah, exactly, Gav. Out of everyone in that movie, maybe maybe excepting the the protagonist for the the typical male fantasy aspect of it, but that dude is who I'd want to be in Fifth Element universe. I mean, he actually take that back. He'd probably get a some weird form of cancer being around that shit all the time. But hey, that's what the weed is for. Also, you know, in, in Fifth Element verse, that that shit has to be grade A hydroponic dank. Yeah, just clean living, working the nine to five, taking it easy, listening to some jams. Shit, man, going back to your shitty apartment. Whatever, that's space. Oh, I gotta collect Atheum Crystal Shards! Can I just shoot any of them? Or do they have to be, like, marked? If 
appears they have to be... They have to be mining nodes. Okay. Those other ones aren't atheum. Checked off everything on the list. Great. Now bring the parts so we can give that reactor a whirl. Space Reggae Bob Starley? Oh my god! That's the best name! Okay, alright, here's the deal. Elon Musk is gonna invent a fucking Earth to Mars cruise liner. I'm gonna perform on it as Bob Starley. Uh, the world's first and only seafaring reggae musician. But it's gonna be only 311 covers. Alright, let's fix the scrapper. Perk menu and fix reactor. Yeah. In blue face? <laughs> I guess yeah, I could I could dress up like uh Plava Laguna and make the uh make the cycle of references complete. Although half of those half of that narrative would still be obscured, I think, for people. That was a space drift? You're right. I still swear to God. In our lifetimes, we're going to see a Fast and Furious movie where they have to, like, slingshot around a planet using its gravity, and they're going to call it a space drift. Um, or, the, like, a planetary drift or a galactic drift or some shit like that. I am going to stand up and cheer. <sighs> Will I? I hope so. This is also theoretically in a universe where we're allowed to be in a closed space with other living humans. Can someone clip that? It seems possible. I'm pretty sure I put my chips down on Twitter just to make sure I, I had a, something to throw back to to say that I called it. I, I, I gotta take my small victories, you know? They made that movie already. It's Star Trek IV. That happened in The Martian? K kinda? Like, it happened in Apollo 13, quite literally. Um, no one's ever, like, I think, propped it up like that. Like, drifting a starship. I'm trying to remember Star Trek IV. I don't remember quite what happened in that. All right, companion perks. Each companion comes with his or her own set of perks that can have multiple levels to unlock. Unlocking is done by fulfilling the requirements. Sometimes you just need to provide some simple resources other times you're asked to complete in certain tasks. Oh, that'd be neat if they like work in story beats to that. Um, have you go do like story content. Note that all resources you're investing in a perk can not be retrieved. So always think about when and how much to invest. Well, I'm going to invest uh, one wrench into reactor. Oops. Invest two, invest one. Oh. Ha! It worked! Never thought I'd miss this shabby place. Those Bloodstar idiots had me locked up for ages. What do they want from you? Well, what they want from everyone. Credits and information. Unfortunately for them, I don't share with outlaws. Anyway, this is where we're at right now. We've got lights, climate control, and access to scans of our vicinity. Can the scans help me navigate Superlight again? I can't fly blind forever. Good idea. We can't reconnect our navs, or the fleet would immediately locate our asses. But with these scans... Here, have a look. Cedo Outer Rim, Rhodia Orbit, and... Union oh, the devs are here? Hey, Michael. That's as far as we can scan? I'm really enjoying That's it so far. For now, at least what we need to do next. I need you to fly to all three locations, and keep an eye out... A lot of cool stuff in here. ...we like to call beanies. Beanies? That's short for beanbags. They're small DIY signal distractors, and used to keep this base off enemy radars. But obviously they don't anymore. Sounds like a job for Ben. You need an engineer on this, not uh, me. Why don't we I'm gonna give a special shout out first. to no your time. audio engineer, we'll because like the mastering on this VO sounds so now. good. We won't live long enough it's to like, It's like tickling my ears. the beanies and make us vanish. That'll give us time to figure out what to do with your friend. Which is ideal, given that that's the main story delivery vehicle, so... I have a lot of, I have a lot of very pleasing, sonorously, uh, pleasing, uh, delivery. There we go. To look forward to. <laughs> and the dank music. Yeah, shoot. So, mm, maybe it's too early to drill, but are there any plans to release the soundtrack? I, I get, it sounds like from the way it's used in the game, it would be very hard to have like soundtrack appropriate music from the, from the instrumentation, uh, in this game. Instrumentation is not the right word, but see now I'm second guessing myself. You got me all nervous. <laughs> a 
Look at all these quests. Oh, dang. Open world? I sleep. Open galaxy, now we're talking. Now it's video games. Cool. Oh, man. Uh... Let's go to all three. Okay. Cool. It's a living, breathing galaxy. So let's see here. Jump drive. Ooh. Oh, right on. Thank you, Michael. Appreciate that. Now you're getting... Were you expecting to get uh, inundated with questions from chat? until you're ready to take some damage. Is it gonna shock me? Oh. It's an ambush. You got this. How did you know? Ah! Oh, they have a little trick. Eh. Yes! How did you know it was a trap? It's called scavenger baiting. Oh. Outlaws do that a lot. Besides, beanbags don't run on power cores. So, removing the debris should be enough. I got the power core. Forget that thing. It was just a decoy. Flinging it to space or something. Give it a little whack. It's the power of space. Beanie's back online. Excellent. For a proper disappearing act, we need two more. Huh? Got, yeah, got my inversion messed up again. For some reason, it's only when I'm trying to roll does my brain think it should be inverted. But every other time, it's fine. I'm sure I'll figure it out. All right, on to the next one. Space combat's come a long way since Wing Commander Four. Yeah, I think. How did you ever end up in a place like this? Originally, I was stationed in the Ethan system as part of our. Oh yeah, using the autopilot sequence to deliver narrative. But really, not much else. How many were you? Around twelve. Some died. Let's have some Wing Commander energy right now. Two it's like Privateer plus a story. What got really ugly. This is where we ended up. Feels like the edge of the universe. Yeah, the seventies vibe from the cockpit. If you squint, you can see it from here. Oh, boy. Yeah, the uh, the ships themselves have a really clean, really clean like look. An asteroid bumped off half of its antennas. Maybe we're lucky and they got caught up somewhere. Why does it look like an IROC Camaro? Try running a hollow Because space so rules. That's what space looks like. What do you think I just did? Smart man. So smug. Sick. I'm almost getting like these screens in particular are very destiny-esque. The, like, the stripe, which, it's 70s sci-fi, so that's kind of the DNA they share, it looks like. But, uh, this is exactly how, how Destiny does, like, informational screens with, like, the, the fade in the background and everything. It's just, like, real dirty synth, I like it. Oh, 
Hey, Puck, you going back to work? Right on. Work hard so you can play hard. That's some 90s FPS synth. It is. It does kind of sound like, you know, like Doom on, on Genesis or something. But I think before that, it sounds like, uh, it sounds like 70s, like, synth funk. Like, very, very early, very analog, very, like, juiced, uh, electro sounds. It's like you can see the waveform on a spectrograph with this sort of thing. Okay, I'll play the video game. So is this like telling you the trajectory that shut off him? Just gotta line it up. Oops! Fire a rocket. And go get it! are up for it. You don't have to be a quark mechanic to reattach them. <laughs> Ults are special ship abilities that can be activated to unleash mighty offensive or defensive power. Usually charged by shooting down enemies that have to be used that have to be used to be able to charge again. Okay. Don't waste your ult on a single weak enemy, but at the same time, don't save it for too long. It's just a matter of time until it's fully charged again. Solid solid strats. Important tips. Worry about that ult economy. We change the regular stream times. Um, Robert, sort of, sort of, yeah. Uh, trying to be a little more steady, uh, a little more predictable. So, my normal stream time is going live around three o'clock Pacific. That I found that that's a little more generous of a time. Gives me some time to get work done in the early days. Just as opposed to just assuming I can wake up and get right to gaming. You know, it gives me a little pillow, which I find is working pretty well. And there's the other one. Um, but. I did intend on Wednesday, actually be right about now, actually is when I would go live, but um, I wanted Wednesday and Friday to be my earlier days to get that, get uh, the United Kingdom, spend some time with them, uh, but Wednesday, if Wednesday is the podcast, then that kind of dictates the time again, so I might try to find another day of the week to uh, go live early, but that's the idea. Good as new. Second one's up. Nice. One more and the show is on. Yep, there we are. Oh, you're in UK, Robert? Well, there we go. Yeah, it's... I think it would be easier for me to designate a few days of the week to go early than to have a few days of the week where I try to go really late. That just seems a little more sustainable. Man, you obviously never had to endure shift duty. Hey, Station AI, give Adam all the data you have on juggling. Affirmative. So, Robert, um, for at least two days out of the week, I am trying to be live in the, like, UK evening time. Until I just Cool. One of those days is Friday. And, uh, I'm not entirely sure what the other one is yet. It depends on a couple of things. That are that are still in flux. Don't know. I got this marker jumping around on my display though. Could be it. Try to follow it and keep me posted. By the way, if you need better tech, there used to be a trader around that area. Calls her shop the Flying Duchess. Maybe worth checking out. We got vendors now. Whoa. Hello, adventurer. Would you like to buy a new sort and laser cannon? Whatever, man, I'm in. 
The only thing that JRPGs could improve on is being in space instead of in fantasy time. And then you have Star Ocean, and you're pretty much done. Or Xenoblade. <laughs> Would you like to buy a space potion? Ish. Nano weave uh, automatic drone applicator. Customer or outlaw? Customer, I guess. But can't you be both? Not here at the Flying Duchess, you can't. I operate an honest business. I see. Say, you look like you can handle yourself very well in a situation. Are you up for some challenges? Hunting outlaws in a more creative way. I'll even throw in some reward for you. What? What do you say? Let me take a look. Would you perchance like a side quest, warrior? Yes. Yes, I would. Thank you very much. Oh, it's okay. It's more of a challenge. Warrior, my bait and asteroid belt is infected with pirates. Defeat five pirates and bring their ship parts to me. I love it. I love it. Oh. Oh. My heart rate's increasing. Solo Rogo. Thank you for the cheer. Oh, I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Oh, Jay Borden. Thank you for gifting us up. You don't say. You don't say. Styles, you say. Two shreds, you say. Wait. Oh, 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 okay, okay. this. This is really intense ship music. Love it. Oh, I want that corrosion injector. Hmm. Oh, um, somebody was asking about the physics. Uh, like, do you keep drifting? Uh, oh, Olive, yeah. Can you let off the throttle and continue to fly at the same velocity since there's no atmospheric friction? I don't think it's that kind of game. Let me, let me verify, but it doesn't feel like that. Um. No, you, you, you coast to a stop. It's, it's descent, if that makes any sense. It's not, it's not, a. it's not, um. Elite. I don't have any. There we go. I'll admit, though, I... Oh. I did forget how to change weapons. Nope. Hold on a second. Left. Okay. Damn. Cool, okay. I'll have to use that to blow up some enemies. Wait, 
Hey, Bandit. How you doing? It's like Elite Dangerous. <laughs> uh, I was actually just just sort of making that comparison. Not really, no. It's um, it's not as intense. It's a little more pick up and play, a little more arcadey, a little more of like a, I guess, an approachable story based flight RPG. I guess is how to describe it. Lockwick, the war is over. You're on your own now. Yeah, thanks, you privileged bastards. The Ocker blew up Palamon Station, and suddenly you all five star cowards can. All you five star cowards can talk about is a truce and how this war is just one big mistake. Well, no scrap. She sure made a lot of people die for it. I don't care what happens next, if the Ocker are suddenly our friends or not. But I'm hell bent on coming back out on top. So I set a freighter near Nemertus and stocked it with as much war loot as I could find. Even pimped it up with a bit of lizard tech. To hell with your treaties. You ran, don't expect us to play by the rules. All the scrap is ours now. Second Lieutenant Tuscany Park. Looks like the pilot never made it back to his freighter. Does that give me a side quest? It may still even be there. Ooh. Let's go get some treasure. Boodly, boodly, boodly. There are a few there are a few feelings in a video game greater than uh picking up lore and getting a quest for it. The first one is straight up roguelite, and if you feel like barfing plate in VR, I do. Um I've never really had much of an issue with VR and barfing. Um, the only time that I got close was when I was moving and turning my head and turning with a stick at the same time in Half-Life Alex. Okay, PC Early Access starts on Monday. Awesome. This is extremely complete for early access so far. Um, I mean, it's got it's got VO, it's got cutscenes, it's got content, it's got a full tutorial. Man. This is uh, I'm wondering about it with like with the early access titles shipping more and more complete like it makes me wonder if now people will start to expect uh borderline retail quality from early access and get mad when that's not the new normal these trails are really cool looking Pretty smooth, uh, pretty smooth music transition. Assess the ships. That's the, yeah, that's the story quest. So let's see here. Cargo hold. What would that be? If I were a cargo hold on a ship... Exploding boxes. Huh. Okay. Hmm. Can I fly through this? Nope. Okay. 
Did we got us a little environmental puzzle? Got us a little... A little activity? Ooh. Yeah, maybe, man, maybe Friday should be, uh, Yakuza Day. It's the day for all Kyodais everywhere, huh? The dates back to the war. How can it still have so much power? There you go. I never even thought about, like, doing, um, I mean, I guess to some degree, like, you could argue, again, going back to Descent, that was kind of thing, but I never even... Fed the generator, it's still pumping. I never really even thought about um, doing like Zelda style dungeons with this sort of setup. You would really open up a lot of possibility space if you could fly around in, in three dimensions and then do puzzles and like opening up segments of a larger area kind of thing. Which I guess is technically what this is already doing. This is all a side quest, huh? Okay, so that wasn't that part. I wasn't paying the strictest of spatial attention as to which generator I just blew up. I really should have been. Okay, let me see if I can find my way back there. Be a little more deliberate about what I'm doing. Because it would... It's kind of easy to lose your anchor in 3D space. Oh, Hotel Spark confirmed. Excellent. So, blew up this one. And this door. Blew up this guy. I guess it's to go through here? Seems unlikely. Right? Okay. okay. That's how you do it. Make the next objective right in front of you as you're leaving. Power cord dispenser? <laughs> is it is it unstable because it's timed? Or maybe because it blows up if you whack it on something? through that wall. Gosh. A cargo unit enables you to dismantle equipment. Dismantling equipment will give you crafting resources that can be used to craft or modify an item. You'll also receive crafting XP for the respective rarity needed to unlock blueprints. To craft an item, select craft on an empty cargo slot to modify an existing item, select modify. You thought, you, you thought, we, you thought there were enough gameplay systems? Guess again, bucko. Crafting. Oh, that's not enough? Guess what? Crafting experience! That's right, a whole other bar! I'm positively exploding with bars! Uh, what game are you looking forward to most next year? Whew, that's a good question. Um... Hmm... I mean, Resident Evil... has been on my mind. I'm trying to remember what's actually 2021. Oh, hello. An unknown ping? I'm down for some space adventure. Oh, Stray looks fun, yeah. Um, Returnal looks really cool. Getting excited for the medium. 
Oh, just... Oh, okay. Random encounter? We're doing it. Playing a chunk of the ass space ass RPG. Oh, Elden Ring? I mean, I don't know what to think about Elden Ring. Right now, I'm excited for Elden Ring in the way that I'd be excited for anything from From Software, but like, it's. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about that one. Uh, FromSoft is like they've they've had they've had a run, but that they're not like they don't always make crowd pleasers, which is weird. Um, I don't know how they've managed to do it. Like they really they really hit a stride. You've been avoiding all info about Elden Ring. Well, then you're exactly where everyone else is because there is no info about Elden Ring. New God of War? Yeah, I guess, yeah. Valhalla? Well, no, Ragnarok, that's it. Yeah. That should be good. That will be good. Um, I am, hmm. There were, I had like a stack in my head and they've all fallen out. Um, hold on a minute. Let me see. Eh. Eh. Um, Hitman 3. It's coming this in January. Should be pretty cool. I uh, man, I really want to play through the Hitmans before it hits. Mans. Um, the medium. Which I'm really looking forward to. This website's not loading past February for some reason. That's unnecessary. Internet's been a little cursed lately. I wonder what's going on. It's that 2021 energy getting into it. It's warm here. What's that all about? It's like warm today. Yeah, well, whatever. Oh, Perfect Dark. Yeah. Yes. Um, I'm excited to see that come back. If for no other reason than like... There have been a couple, but, like, we don't really have, like, spy thriller games anymore. Splinter Cell's gone. Um, nobody's making Bond games anymore. I guess IO is making Bond. So that's cool, too. Uh, but yeah, I want, like, cool techno thriller games. Uh, I mean, they're cyberpunk, so, you know. But, one more. Oh, is, is it supposed to be like that? Oh, maybe. Medium is a horror game? Probably, yeah. I think so. I think it's supposed to be like, um... Like supernatural thriller territory. Giant shipwreck surrounded by mines? I do remember a wreck, but it's been a while since we had the beanies out there. Not a troll question. What is the medium's appeal? I've seen a few people say it looks good, but I'm not feeling it. Um, I'm gonna guess pure pedigree from the studio. Um, Bluebird Team Games, like, they don't show well. There's rarely anything about the trailers for any of those games that seems interesting. But if you played, like, Layers of Fear, um, or Layers of Fear 2 specifically, or, uh, like, Observer, or... I did not finish Observer, no, but yeah, that is, that is kind of, a the same, I guess the same... I'm expecting something like that, from that tone. Uh, but Observer, Blair Witch, um, was, was okay, it was pretty good. The last third of it was alright, it was a little slow, but I, I liked it. Um, but, you know, I don't, I like, I like Walking Sims, I do. As long as they don't pretend to be more than, than, than they are. Uh, and Bloober teams are very good about knowing what they are, you know, and, and trying to be that and be a good version of that. Oh, they got, wait, no, it was, um, well, it was that other studio that did, uh, you know, the Amnesia game, which I also didn't finish. I need to, I need to do that. You know, play through that with Steph. Hey, I, I don't. Me. Fight mode activated. Steph likes a good, a good scare or two. Big fan of spooky times. I should, yeah, I need to... I need to pop their shields before I use missiles. Ooh. 
some like almost massive uh, massive attack drum hits I will in, in as much as I will accept dub and reggae as the sounds of space I will also ex accept trip hop where are you want to make those two things known known and clear at this moment all of those are acceptable so just want to register that amnesia was frictional yes that's right I get them can I get them a bit conflated because their styles can be so similar um, but yeah, not the same company. But yeah, that's the answer. Uh, I, it, I guess it's entirely people that have played and liked their games. I mean, consider that like, um, consider that, uh, um, I just considered Sean with Big Ball. Is that the same? Cause, cause similar troll styles with Sean Boner as well. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Uh, what was I gonna say? Oh, I was gonna pop my shoulders. Hell yeah. Doesn't matter now. That felt great. Oh, I did chest yesterday, so it's a little it's a little tense right now. Your boy's getting back in that gym, your boy's moving that weight. Your boy's gonna get big. Actually I'm gonna get tiny, that's the point right now. That's always the point, but them out of... I can't pull them out when they're already slotted in. Ain't that the way of things? Ain't that just the way it goes? Oh, mine launcher? Sick. That's There's nothing inside the wreck. At least no distractor. It's yeah. really close, though. I never noticed that oh, yeah. ding is... That ding is, is not in the music. That's from... That's from the tracker. That's cute. Found it. It's infested with hydras. That could explain the weak signal. And the music kind of cuts out as you get closer and closer. Cleared it. Smart. All bean bags are back online. You can see that. Our base marker is now everywhere but here. You can come back to base now. I found something that can make life a lot easier for you. Oh, I didn't know there was an Everspace 2? Because there's not. Um... doesn't exist yet. It's going into early access uh, on Monday. But thanks to the good old game store, I have early access to it and I'm playing it now. Instead of playing the first Silent Hill, Godberry, I'm curious to pick your brain about that. Um, do you find that like... The old graphics, the PSX quality of it, the low frame rate, the clunky controls. Does that uh, does that add to your discomfort? Like, how does that change? How did that change the experience for you? It is believed he was assisted and is still accompanied by Lieutenant Henley Maddox. Transferring full entry to pilot log. A mutiny, huh? That's probably important. But it was it was summarized well, so thank you. Ah, uh, coach. I mean, there we. Uh, this this is the the frustrating exchange of, of a professional troll. Um, don't don't take Sean too seriously. Can I just nerf on in? I can't. Check this out. While going through some old junk, I found some protective plating for your ship. Might give you an edge. It's fun sometimes, but it's not fun right now because they're there. Thanks, goddamn it! I right, have my own on. plating. Sean, I'm gonna time you out. Like sometimes I wonder if just like, um, they say it was a mutiny. 
it's killed it's frustrating because sometimes you want to have fun with a troll, but then I guess they think that that that's encouraging the behavior. That war, um, the things we all did, it wasn't right. My friends and I, we had a plan to get out and. It's a shame, it man. Something. It just means no fun at all. It was hell bent on stopping us. You'd like to think yeah, there's I was uh, thinking plans were for fools. Yeah, I feel on the fire. Never yeah. Said I wasn't You'd like to myself. think that there's a nice middle ground Look, where you can I just volley the tennis ball a little bit, but someone. no. Maybe you'll find it easier if we focus on fixing up your friend and see where it goes from there. It's really all I'm asking. All right, let's start by having you head over to the Union Bridge Station and buy something called a Prime Sense STA. That's an old but untrackable scanner module. With it, we can finally see the entire system without the fleet seeing us back. And then? We use a scanner to look for a medical station. We loot the place, beef up our med bay, and let the medical AI patch up your friend. What if there are no medical stations around? Cedo isn't that small. We're bound to come across something. I was hoping for something more solid. Well, all right. What's the name of that scanner? Uh, Prime Sense STA? Correct. Have some faith, and I promise it'll be worth your while. Oh, you picked up DJ Max? Nice! You're bad? Yeah. That's that's just normal. Every everyone's bad. Everyone's bad at every rhythm game when you start. You gotta you gotta learn the ropes. There's a lot of good music in there though, and a lot of good animations too. Um, oh, we found a reaction gif. A little a little classic lar. There's something my my PC's been really weird about like playing video when I'm trying to when like a game is running. That's been this weird thing lately. I don't understand it. Well, I'm sure it's a wonderful GIF. For some reason, my computer refuses to multitask. Not enough RAM for Chrome, I guess. But I'm glad you like it. But, uh, there's plenty to do in that game, for sure. Oh, Im Imgur goofs it up sometimes? Yeah, maybe that's part of it. Well, let's equip that bad boy. Oh yeah, I had an up. Yes, I did have an upgrade token. Simply download more. Ah, the problem is, the game's taking all my system resources, so I can't. Maybe it's not a video, it should be fine. Docket Trading Outpost and Union Bridge. Alright, show on map. Okay. Back to missions. Launch the ship. What's the game about? Seems like one of the games I should have heard about. Um, you're a, you're a dandy man in the space. You, uh, you're just kind of like a, I'll, I'll hyper simplify. It's you're just space mercenary. You're you're on the raggedy edge. You're trying to whoops trying to help out your bros uh, You get waylaid by bandits and now you're trying to recover. Uh, there's a larger plot there. The characters have backstories Details are getting dribbled out um, Functionally, this is basically still be looking for an illegal clone like an action RPG so to the traitor try to be as boring as possible I'm flying a stolen combat ship. Uh, you'll think of something. Oh, Yerby. Ah, don't worry about it. If uh, if there's a better code, you should use it. Sorry, right, I'm not I'm not sweating it. I appreciate the attempt, though. I appreciate the consideration. Space Five, look like back how's No Man's Sky? I'm not sure. Never was really my thing. Uh, maybe I need to give it another shot. I guess No Man's Sky would be the perfect game for a Prime Sense STA. if I just had tons and tons and tons of time. Model. Quite rare, but I do have one in stock. How much is it? 4,200. 4,000? And 200, yes. Say, you don't happen to be a contractor, do you? Uh, no, I'm just uh, into tech like that. That's all. That's too bad. 
I could have paid you 2.5k if you'd done a little job for me. All you would need to do is deliver a small package to a dear customer of mine. Really? That's it? Will you do it? Sure, why not? That doesn't sound very committed. I would be grateful if you let me take this job. Good. You'll find the package at the abandoned station nearby. I'll give you further instructions once you're there. Oh, Loveless. Hey, thank you for the sub. Can wait to watch me play more Final Fantasy XIV? Um, yeah, I guess I guess it's what? It's even Eden Savage now. Not to mention all the extremes I've never done. I don't think I ever finished the Coils of Bahamut either. So I guess there's still some stuff to do. And I guess just grind up all my crafting skills. Hey, Godberry, thank you for the sub. Also, I don't know, I think part of me wants to just like start at the top of a list of like mounts and minions, or sorry, companions in 14 and just work my way down and try to try to just grind out earning everything. I'd need to like come up with some kind of gamer hammock where uh, my body weight doesn't exert any force on my, my physical stature. I'm trying to say my body frame is too weak to properly earn all the mounts in Final Fantasy XIV. Mizra EX that last Wednesday. Look abandoned to me. How many are there? Five. One of them's a pretty nasty viper. Yeah, we've got. Um, Don't let them get away. It seems like there are there are plenty of people in the uh, stream community who are willing to play, and we can form a nice nice full party that way. So that's good. I mean, it's. I would rather do that with like members of chat who know what they're doing and are willing to be patient. Uh oh. Yeah. To try to make it to a nearby station. They'll patch you up there. Oh boy, I'm getting my ass kicked. Uh, nanobots. Nanobots. How to use nanobots? I don't have any nanobots. I should have nanobots. Hey, Robert. Nice to see you live again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. I'll be around. I'm trying to make it a goal, like I said, to be a little earlier on Friday. At least on Friday. One other day. Maybe Tuesday? Could be Tuesday? Why couldn't it be Tuesday? Oh, that's a lot of money. Great. I did that. That was me, I guess. Oh, that's neat. Oh, boy. Yeah, this is... That's pretty brutal. Very, very similar to... I remember Privateer had some pretty rough uh, repairing costs. Yeah, space cred's gone. Gotta get better at shooting. Try and see if I can maybe isolate them, get them one at a time. Yeah, that was really close.
I squeeze through? Looks like it. I squeeze on through. Can't find it anywhere. What ship types did the group fly? Apart from that elite Viper, there were two madcaps, a scout, and a sniper drone. Just as I thought. I hate those guys. They pestered me to sell them the wares, but I turned them down. They didn't happen to have left their address by any chance. The Viper pilot has his lair in Rodeo Orbit. I would be very grateful if you could get my package back. This will cost you. How about a raise up to 3.5k? Sounds fair. I'm on it. Okay. through one of those tight spots at full speed i will gift five subs well dang it oh, i saw it too late all right i'll thread something i'll thread something later and i'm sure that'll count is this an online game it does not seem to be but i get to decide like i get to oh shoot that's a skull oh he's big he's purple Skull pilot. Whatever, I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you, Elite Outlaw Viper. Oh, maybe I'm not. Looks like I've got company. Let's do this first, then. Did the traitor send you? Yeah. Now don't try anything funny. Just return what you stole, and I'll let you go. Never. They say that I'm just like everyone else, but with this, I'll prove them wrong. I will finally stand out. This, this is about this guy's weird self-esteem problems. Jesus. entire ship just unfolded and became a wall of guns. Hey, it's me. Did the package contain some Viridian paint by any chance? Yes, that's it. He's willing to die for his... already waiting for you at the outer rim. ...his ship skin. You know that Viridian products are illegal. I'm sorry, but I'm not paying you so well to ask questions. Point taken. Oh, sky me, hi me. Uh, this is you know, this. This is more of a shooter. This is not quite as simmy as Elite Dangerous. I think it's more of like a, a space action RPG. It's it's basically Wing Commander Privateer, but that that is a reference that is about twenty five to thirty years old at this point. Free Space, yeah, Free Space was like a campaign. This is, this is open flight with, like, crafting and resources and, and upgrades and stuff like that. More like Space Ace Combat? A little bit, well, even, even Ace Combat is mission-based. It doesn't really have, like, a open world layer. Um, um, yeah, but, I mean, like, Elite and EVE, that kind of game, but, like, way, way less semi-flying, uh, recharging meters side quests, that sort of deal. <laughs> I feel old for knowing that now? Hey, I didn't mean to make you feel old. Just trying to acknowledge maybe that, yeah, it's been a, it's been a minute <laughs> since that game came out, so I, I would understand if you didn't get it, that's all. The, one, the last thing I want to be is, you know, that dude who's like, oh, it's like blank, except that game is like 25 years old and it just doesn't occur to me that normal people don't play games that are 25 years old. Uh, you know, never want to be that, like, I feel like you get a little get a little detached, you know? Oh. oh, craft on an empty slot? Oh! Oh, that's how you... Oh, that's how you do that. Oh, oh, and I have... I actually have nanobots that I haven't even equipped. That's why I have no nanobots. Oh, oh! 
wait, that's weird. Huh. You can just turn it into a different kind of gun? I gotta buy the thing. Okay. I don't have the money. Did I go to the wrong spot? I think maybe I did. I did. That's why. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh yeah, freelancer, for sure. Yeah, freelancer was supposed to be the non-wing commander branded wing commander. And then Roberts only made one and made a movie. Wait, no, I think the movie's before Freelancer. Haven't seen how much you played. Would you recommend it so far? Um, I played it for about an hour and a half. It's, 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 it's a very comfy kind of game and a very easy one to recommend, um, Sky. I, I'm usually not in the habit of recommending games to everyone regardless of qualification. Because, you know, there's, there's no accounting for taste, but if you're like flying around blowing things up and leveling up and doing quests. Like, most people like doing that, I think. So, it controls well, it looks good. The systems make sense. They're they're kind of unfurled to you in a, a pretty uh, are you the guys I'm straightforward way. You have the package? Yeah, here. There's been this some fun uh, quest design. Stand out. They will see that we're not Need a few like more resources and like perk levels. That's why, why some resources have a green indicator in your inventory. Here. Oh, that's not why. Okay. We are a nice, clean, easy deal with respected businessmen in their industries. I gotta focus on homework. All right, shrub. Best of luck. I delivered the paint. Very good. Say about those customers of yours. They were two mad cabs, a scout, a sniper drone, and an elite viper pilot. Yeah, they're quite the raggle taggle group. It's really hard not to like them, isn't it? They're exactly the same as the guys you just made me fight. Nah, there's a big difference. Return to my shop and you'll understand. Yeah, you just killed a group to get a paint job for another group. Oh, I... This is like the random encounter, basically. Sometimes there's just outlaws. Oh, shit. Hey, 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 hey. This is costing me money. I gotta repair that, asshole.
great. Yeah, right, Patman? God, that music is so so on point. It, and, it, and in that way, kind of, the JRPG vibes are there. You get in a random encounter, you're like, ow. Oh. But then the music kicks in, and you're like, yeah, all right. Oh, okay, you got me. <laughs> That's kind of how it goes, man. I'm just, I'm getting that feeling, you know? It's that same loop. Excellent job. I weigh him a little bit, yeah. It, it, Great. it gives you a lead indicator, well, and well, also there's some pretty strong lock on. So it's, well, it is just kind of like point and fire, yeah, and you'll kill it. You're welcome. When the two Viper pilots came by to order the paint, the first one just barged in, slammed his money on the counter, and made his proposition. While the other one began by asking if it was okay for him to dock here. Hey, what's up, Triple when Holt? I said yes, he thanked me. Can you believe that? It's hanging pretty it's well. Amazing. It's more Life floating. Life out here is cruel and violent. Barely anyone treats their neighbor as their equal. So just hearing a friendly thank you every once in a while means something to me. Sometimes it's the small things that really make us stand out. Uh, yeah, right. That's sweet. Well, thanks for the creds, I guess. You're very much welcome, my friend. Sometimes people are polite. You know, that's nice. That's nice. Things are nice. Oh. Damn. Wait. I thought... I thought he was only charging me. Okay. Okay, then. I think I can... I do love that you can you can dismantle from this screen. God bless. Less up. Mm. There we go. Okay, fine. One pre-war system scanner coming right up. Say, do you know about any medical stations nearby? Hmm. The closest is probably the one at Prescott Starbase in Union. And here in Cedo? You're kidding, right? Out here, no one ever cared about infrastructure like that. Not even during the war. I understand. Thanks anyway. No problem. Dax? Come in, Dax. I have not Good watched news. The Expanse yet. No, so I just bought the STA. Actually. And guess what? There are... I'm, I'm pleased to announce, for business reasons, I might be... Cramming anime no medical soon. Medical stations out here. I told you we were watching anime with intent, with, with purpose. I don't have time. Why am I getting the feeling you're just using me to beef up your crappy station on the cheap? Listen, I didn't have to take you in or stick your friend in my freezer. I'm Business trying to reason. help you, but we got to do it my way. It's for with it, patience. It's and for research. Yeah, I mean, unironically, it would be for research. Long. For people like us, it is what it is. There are no shortcuts in the DMZ. Starting Dragon Ball Evolution 2. They're rebooting it, so it's called Dragon The Dragon Ball Evolution. Convoy for GMB just jumped in. All automated, barely Don't tell anyone I said that. Don't clip that. Don't clip that, please. And completely packed. Wow. That's a cool looking ship. I'll be damned if they're not hauling a medical pod. Remember what I said about being boring? This is sticking your fingers in the faces of the very people we want to avoid. Oops. I'm sorry, Dax. My friend is in trouble, and this is my chance to help him. The convoy's AI-driven. There are just a few guards. I might even manage to steal the meds without any trouble at all. I don't like it. If this operation goes south, it's on you. In your head alone. Got it? Yeah, I get it. It's been like that all my life. What the fuck is Dragon Ball Evolution? Oh, you don't know? You don't know about the best anime? That's weird. Why don't you know about the best anime? The best anime ever made is Dragon Ball Evolution. Live action movie. The recreation of the narrative we all know and love. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm really upset that you haven't seen Dragon Ball Evolution. You should find a way to watch it. It's good. 
It's good in only the way that a- oh shit, okay, so you have to be fast. It's good in only the way that a, uh, a live-action Dragon Ball could be. Actually, I'm gonna put one on the board. I think Dragon Ball Evolution actually had quite a bit going on. Uh, in just the intro. Like when they're showing the school and it's like, like, uh, capsule tech and all that stuff. There's some cool stuff going on in the background of those scenes. Everything else about that movie is wretched. Just absolutely horrible. There's a part where Goku slides al along the roof of a car on his head, though, so that's... You know, it's got that going for it. Not a lot of other movies can say that. Watch live action Death Note? No. I'm not interested in attempts to make good live ad ad ah, live action adaptations of anime because that's a silly idea in the first place. Um, I only want to watch trash, trash live action anime, which it turns out is all of them. So it works out. Actually, works out pretty well. It's fun, really. I guess it has a decent director. Oh, what was I gonna do? Oh yeah, let's take a, let's take a look at this gun! You know, it looks better in pretty much every possible way. Equip! Oh yeah, I need to, I need to repair. That's right. I don't think I have the money, though. I do remember falling into this trap pretty early on in, uh, well, it's not a trap, but... I remember falling into this pretty early on in, um, playing... Oops. Um... Privateer. Of, like, not, actually not earning enough money to repair my ship, and then I would just, like, slowly, my ship would get all banged up, and then I'd die. Pretty cool stuff. I'm gonna use the restroom, and I think I'm gonna eat something. So I might have a bit of a break here. The speakers were on the whole time. Good lord, I'm sorry if there was an echo or something. Hopefully my mic didn't pick it up too much. Uh, but yeah, a bit of a break. And I think I'll come back with something else. I don't know what yet, so I'll see you guys in a bit.